it has been a while since we've had a video out here on the channel and seeing your guys' beautiful smiling faces. Welcome back. Guys, I just bought my first tractor and uh, it's something that I want to share with you here on the channel. But if you want to know what's going on with the truck behind me, almost exclusively the content on this has been on my other channel. Link down in the description below. Click that link. Go subscribe to the Nate's Trucks channel. And if you have not done so already, hit the big red button on this channel because you don't want to miss out on content that I'm going to have coming up for you guys. And I promise I'm going to get a little bit more regular for you. Uh, my life has been somewhat hectic and crazy this summer. And uh, we've done a lot of these introductory videos. Uh, I bought this, I bought that, I'm introducing you to this. And uh, it seems like I'm just constantly buying, buying, buying. But I promise you in real life, these things have been quite a bit more spaced out. I'm just very behind on the content creation aspect. So I promise to do better. And this purchase is a purchase that I actually recently made. I just bought it yesterday and uh, it needs some work, but we'll talk through it here in this video. So again, big red buttons down below and let's jump into it. Technically, I have purchased my first tractor, but I don't want to give you guys the wrong impression when I say tractor, because actually I have purchased a 1960 to 1980, I'm still unclear on the year, Montgomery Ward lawn tractor with a mower deck and a pull behind dump cart. Classic me fashion, yes, this lawnmower does need a little bit of work. I bought it in non-running condition only because the seller supposedly has not used it this year. He said it ran great last year and he used it for three years total. He inherited the lawnmower from the person that he bought his property from who had passed away, who were guessing bought this lawnmower new and always stored it indoor in his garage. Now, clearly I didn't put it in my garage and it rained last night and it's still kind of raining out here. But uh, as long as we're here at this property, I'm probably going to store it in the garage as well. The dump cart on the other hand will probably not get stored in the garage, but uh, the dump cart's kind of the whole reason that uh, I actually took interest in this, in this deal. It sold the deal to me because I've been doing a lot of wheelbarrowing, picking up pine cones and pine needles from all of these huge trees that we have around uh, this old house. And uh, I'm tired of it. I wanted something with uh, you know, a dump bed on it or a four-wheeler cart, which I could have borrowed my parents' four-wheeler cart and a four-wheeler. 
but uh, I think that this was the right option for us or the answer. Plus it has a mower deck. Our lawn is not very big and I have been mowing it by hand ever since we moved in, oh, four or five months ago, which is totally fine and I absolutely enjoy and our lawn looks really good. I don't know that I'm gonna start mowing the lawn with this, but I probably will if it works out okay. So some things that have to happen to get this mower in shape. Number one, it has uh, first off the wrong size tire on it and uh, that tire's flat, but it did come with the right size tire on it, only that it had gone flat from sitting over the winter and the seller could not get it to seat the bead. I tried briefly last night, I could not get it to seat the bead. I'm just gonna rip the valve stem off of it and put a tube in it. Problem solved, I just have to go get the tube. It's a six inch tube, easy fix. So we have four good working tires around the lawnmower, two good working tires on the dump trailer. Next problem to be solved. He hasn't ran this lawnmower in over a year. The six volt battery, yes, thank goodness it is electric start, is dead. So I'm gonna go in and get a battery charger and put on this to charge it. Now he used it for three years and I highly doubt he changed the oil in that time. I'm probably going to try to do an oil change on this. I'm guessing it's a 30 weight, it's Briggs and Stratton. So we'll drain the oil, we'll put new oil in it, get it ready to run. It is pretty oily, so I do kind of want to wash it, clean it up, and uh, whatnot in that regard. I may even go as far as to check the air filter and blow that out or knock it out, or even replace it if it's horrible. Another thing we need to do here is replace this belt, because this belt is stretched and has an awful lot of play in it. Maybe it's just something that we can tighten. I don't know. He used it to mow weeds like kosher weeds, and he said anytime that he hit really thick stuff, it would slip the belt and throw it off. So I'm gonna replace the drive belt here and I don't really know how these tractors work. It took me a ton of research to figure out what size that belt was instead of just taking it off and going and getting one that was a couple inches smaller. Um, I uh, figured out what size that is. It also says it has a clutch belt somewhere. So I'm probably going to replace the mower deck belt and the clutch belt just to get this lawnmower in tip top shape. I don't know that I'll drain the tank, but we'll put new gas in it and uh, run it for a while. And uh, I'm seeing now that it does not have a fuel filter on it. Someone's replaced this fuel line. I'll probably put an inline fuel filter on it uh, before I try running it just to be safe. But hands down, unless something is like critically internally wrong with the engine, this being an old Briggs and Stratton, it'll fire up right on the first try as soon as it gets some gas down in there. And there you have it. That is my first tractor. Yes, it needs some work. And had it not rained today, I would have gone and got parts for it and done the tune-up and all the parts and fixings here in this video. But because it rained today and I didn't work and I didn't get to go to town, you guys get a second video out of this. So hit the big red button down below and stay tuned for when we get the old Montgomery lawn tractor running tuned up and get it out and actually start doing some yard work around here because as you can see we have an awful lot of yard work here at this old house and this rental that we've had here in big wonderful Wyoming and uh, that brings me up to the next point you guys asked for a house update on Instagram in a poll that I've done so again big red buttons down below you don't want to miss that follow me on Instagram link is down in the description and with all of that said get out and enjoy your tractor ownership and I'll catch you in the next video.